Hello, I'm Eve Bargman, and this is Doug Arant, and we'll be demonstrating today a brief neurologic exam. You can do a much longer neurologic exam, and you will if you find any abnormalities, but this is the brief screening neurologic exam that you'll be doing as part of your physical examination. Now, the neurologic exam has five main sections. The first is mental status, where you ask the patient a few questions, then cranial nerves, testing the cranial nerves, sensation, strength, and coordination, and we'll do those more or less in order. So we'll start with mental status. And with mental status, I just ask you several, several silly questions and you get to answer me. Okay. And I can pick questions at random. Can you tell me today's date? Today's date is December 21st. Okay. Can you tell me the year and the day of the week, too? Today is Thursday and the year is 2000. Good. Thank you. And do you know what this place is that we're in? We're in the Davis Building. Well, good. <laughs> and how about the, uh, the town and the... This place is Charlottesville, Virginia. Good. Thank you. And that's, those are orientation questions. You can also ask questions like um, calculation. Can you take 100 and subtract 7? Mm -hmm. I can. It's 93. Good. And take 7 from that? Uh, that would be 86. Excellent. So Bill would have no trouble with mental status whatsoever. <laughs> Next thing you do is cranial nerves, and you'll recognize some of those from having done them before when you're examining the eye and examining the ear. Um, cranial nerves, we test usually 2 through 12 because we don't have things that really smell to test cranial nerve 1. So cranial nerve 2, you'll remember, is the eye. And you remember doing the um, pupil reflexes, and that's again a test for cranial nerve 2. So we'll do pupil reflexes first to light. So to light, you, sh you take the light and shine it in from the outside, okay, toward the patient like this. Okay, and you look at both pupils as you do that, and you do the same thing on the other side, from the outside, and in like this. And look at both pupils. Okay, then you check for accommodation. And for that, let me let, let you look at that sign way over there on the wall. And look straight at that. And now look at my finger. Good. And you can see how the pupils change. Now one test for the second cranial nerve is the field of vision, which you test through confrontation. What I'm going to ask you to do is look straight at my nose and just tell me when you see my finger move. Now. 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 Good. And that's perfect. He should see the finger move just about the same time that you do. For the third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve, you check extraocular movements. So you take a finger and just look at my finger with your eyes. Perfect. Just like that. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. For fifth cranial nerve, that's strength of the masseter muscles and sensation of the face. So just tell me, can you tell when I touch you on both sides? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. And I have a little sharp thing here. Does that feel kind of sharp? Yes. Good. And now clench down your jaws really tight. Good. And relax. Good. All right. Seventh cranial nerve is strength in the face, so close your eyes real tight, real tight, don't let me open them, good, and open up, wrinkle up your forehead, good, show me all your teeth, mm, whistle, perfect, okay, good. Eighth cranial nerve is hearing, and you can check that with, can you hear my yes. finger rubbing over here? Yes. Rub it over there, mm -hmm. and again, with, when you did it with the ear, we got you to close the other one, can you mm -hmm. still hear it? Yes. And there. Yes. Good. And three feet out is very, very good. Okay. For ninth and tenth, I have to, with apologies, do one weird thing, which is check for a gag reflex. I apologize. Yes. The tongue has to go all the way back to the back of the throat, um, just for a brief gag reflex. Okay. Now go ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Sorry about that. Mm. <laughs> good. Eleventh cranial nerve is strength in the shoulder shrug. Shrug up against my hand. Shrug your shoulders. Good. And sternocleidomastoids, push against my hand here. Good, and push against my hand there. Great, good. And for the 12th cranial nerve, stick out your tongue and, and move it from side to side. Perfect. All right, good. Thank Got you. That. You Beautifully. Good. That was the cranial nerves. Good. For sensation, we're going to do the same thing. We check sensation for touch, sharp or pin, position, and vibration. So first, I'm just going to check on your arms and your legs. Good. And I'll get you to close your eyes and just tell me when I touch you if it's kind of a dull touch like this or a sharp touch like that. Yeah. Okay? Now just tell me as you feel it. It feels um, sharp. 
Good. Now, let me get you to keep your eyes closed and I'm going to check for position sensation. For position, I put my hands on either side of the joint and just tell me as I move it if I'm moving it up toward you or down away from you. Up towards me. Down. Down. Up. Good. Same thing with the finger. Down. Up. Up. Down. Good. Great. Good, you can open your eyes for vibration. For vibration, we'll check again. And I'll just give you a light. Can you feel kind of a buzzing yes. feeling here? Mm -hmm. Good, tell me when you feel it go away. It's gone now. Okay. Over there. I can feel that. Okay. Okay, when do you feel it go away? Gone now. Good. Can you feel it there? Yes, I feel it. It's gone now. Okay. And forth. It's gone now. Good. Pretty similar everywhere. <clears throat> Good. For strength, we can just check some easy things. Hold on real tight. Real tight. Good. That's great. Now make a fist like that. Good. And push down against me. Good. And push out and back. Good. That's great. Now you can relax your hands. Good. Now push up here against my hand. Good. And push up there. Great. And push out against my hands. Good. Now push up your toes and push back down again. Good. That's it for strength. Reflexes. Now for reflexes, I can do the arms here. So I'll do arms here and then I'll get you to mm -hmm. show us the rest of your legs so we can check. This is the biceps. It's right in the biceps muscle. And you push, you, you hit your finger and you can see a little movement and feel the movement with your finger as well. And then you check it should be about the same on both sides. With the biceps, you don't necessarily see it, but you can always feel the muscle contracting, and you can see it pretty well here. Brachioradialis is here. And right there again. For triceps, just lift up and let me just hold your arm completely. Let me just completely hold your arm here. Yes, good. That's great. There it is. Good. Thank you. Good. Same thing over here. You have to be a little patient here. Not everybody can relax as quickly as Bill can. Yeah, there it is again. And it, you have to make sure that the entire weight is in your hand when you do that. So that's biceps, triceps, brachioradialis. Let me show you the leg reflexes too. Let me just get you to pull up your pants up to above both of them. Got to compare two sides always. Good. All right. And again, but they match. Good. They will not get a very pretty knee jerk. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. This one? Yes. Good. Okay. Now there's the ankle here, which is right there. It's Achilles. Okay, with ankle, just a little light pressure. Good. And here is, this is Babinski, this will feel ticklish. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that, and that's Babinski there. And the toe goes down, that's a normal Babinski. 